John, a derby win, 3-1 against, uh, against Tenman Morecambe. What's your verdict? Well, Tenman for half, again, half the game. It doesn't start with Tenman, did it? Um, <clears throat> I thought it was a day. Well, it's the game, first half. We'd had made a couple of good chances, got round the sides and then flashed the ball across the goal a couple of times. Disappointed that no one on the end of it. Looked quite comfortable defensively. And then they'd set up to bit us on the counter. Um, and we didn't really do enough. Then they got the man sent off, which makes it even harder because they're going to get 10 men behind the ball if you include the goalkeeper in that score. Um, and then we do the R part, which is scoring. And uh, you think that you're cursed. You know, you give them a goal, an own goal. Uh, I think we've managed to concede the goal without them having a shot on target. And so, in, well, certainly in the second half, but... All credit to the lads because possibly last year we'd have licked our wounds, felt sorry for ourselves a little bit, and that might have petered out into a 1 1 or even a defeat. So we seem to be made of strong stuff. The lads are, we have a right go, um, scored the goal, and then, you know, give more from the duties, they change it up, they put an extra striker on, and Cole stopped and always being handful, you know, this level. And, um, and he created one or two opportunities. You know, people talk about goals winning games. Sometimes a tackle can win a game, and Mitch sliding in and blocking one up in a six yard box, that's as good as a goal. And that's a match winning tackle. And thankfully, we won the ball, and Jack Nolan has enough presence of mind to square it to Tommy Lee, his housemate, uh, to score a good goal. And then that, you know, that cemented it. But I was pleased with the performance because we passed the ball a lot better today. I still think we've got a, bit, a little bit more dynamic. And if teams let us get down the side of them, we've got to go at them with a bit of purpose. And, you know, Mitch is having an influence there. And we've got to get other players on the ball who can affect the game in and around the box. Got to get more shots on target. That was a, the only thing I was disappointed with today. How decisive... How much did that red card change the way this game panned out? I didn't think it changed the way the game got played. In the fact that, you know, more common science of players on the counter, they were getting everyone behind the ball, anyway. What it did is it, it gives the extra man to pass the ball wide, to recycle the ball from one side to the other. It made that easier. And when you do it two or three times, it's difficult to stop the ball coming into your box. And that's how we scored the first goal. As far as the decision was concerned, you may not have seen it again. What did you make of it? Well, they're one of them ones where if one player's going for the ball and one player's made no attempt to play the ball, he's just gone through the man. So I don't think you can have any complaints if you go for the man and not the ball. You talk about the character of, of your players and in previous seasons, maybe you wouldn't have, have won today. Is a bit of adversity and the injuries that you've gotten, absentees and Doug Tharm's gone off today, is that in a way building that character? Possibly. Um, you know, no. There's no moaners in the dressing room. You know, Ethan's been champing at the bit because he hasn't played for a little bit, and you can see that today. He covered every blade of grass. Delighted for him getting his goal as well. Um, but there's no egos. There's no moaners. There's everyone's singing off the same hymn sheet. And when the lads work hard. It's, it's hard to criticise when they make mistakes because you know how much they're given for the team and for the fans. I thought our fans, I thought the Morgan fans were great today as well, by the way, standing in the rain for a big period, but I thought our fans were superb today. Certainly sucked the ball in the net for us. And we need them. We need them. And when they get that atmosphere going like that, there's no better place to be. Three wins on the spin now, a little bit of momentum. Things can quickly change, I know, but yeah. do, do you have to sort of take them when they come? You can't get carries away. We didn't get carries away when we lost three in the bunch. And you know that that's just around the corner in this league. We just keep going. Um, we just need to get to that magical 50 points, 52, 54, whatever it's going to take to keep us up. And then we can look the other way.